Food Heals Podcast, episode 48. We love inspiring you with our stories and the stories of our guests who have really made huge changes in their lives. But mama's got to eat, okay? (laughs) Holistic Voice presents the Food Heals Podcast with your hosts, Alison Melody and Susie Hardy. Join the Food Heals Nation and learn the secrets to go from feeling unwell to healing yourself. Warning, side effects of this podcast may include increased health and vitality, thoughts of living longer, an increase in sexual activity, feelings of joy, cravings for kale and quinoa, and a spike in Tinder matches. In rare cases, people have experienced a strong desire to actually start using their $39.99 a month gym membership. If you experience any of these symptoms, Snapchat your trainer immediately. Welcome to the Food Heals Podcast. I'm Allison Melody. I'm Susie Hardy. And today's episode is going to be our healthy holiday gift guide because we want to help you pick healthy, eco-friendly gifts for your friends and family. And of course, we have some discount codes. (laughs) And it's almost a new year. 2016 is on its way. So we're going to talk about some of our reflections from 2015 and what we have learned from doing this podcast. That's right. But before we get to that, we have to tell you about our sponsor. And we have a special announcement for Food Heals Nation. Our sponsor today is the Global Healing Center. From cleansing kits to detox products to organic creams and sprays, Global Healing Center offers a wide variety of high-quality, green-living lifestyle products to help you maintain a clean body and live a healthy lifestyle. And the holidays are just around the corner. If you need a gift for that special, let's say, lady in your life, even if it's your mom, okay, (laughs) I recommend the Parfait Visage Wrinkle Reducing Face Cream. It comes in the most beautiful gold bottle and it's organic and it reduces fine lines and wrinkles. So Food Heals Nation knows I've been using it for years. I always talk about it. Allison has no wrinkles. I don't know what she's worried about. Because I have the reducing wrinkle cream. I know. (laughs) It works. That's what my point is. (laughs) Or say there's an athlete or a yogi in your life, I recommend NutraCool. NutraCool is a topical cream for muscle discomfort, sprains, and strains. Yes, I have been using it after Pilates, and it's like very cooling. It feels really great. I love it, and it's perfect. And let's say there's a massage therapist in your life. Susie, would you know anything about that? I don't know. (laughs) Maybe. So... Tell me if you think this would be a good gift for you, but I would recommend the O2 Zap, which is this organic extra virgin olive oil that's loaded with pure oxygen and ozone, and it's perfect for soothing swollen or irritated skin or tissue. That's fantastic. That's completely healing, and everybody needs that, whether you you have a massage therapist in your life or just a spouse that you can convince to rub that into your shoulders. It's perfect. Yeah. So go to globalhealingcenter.com to get 20% off plus free shipping on all Global Healing Center products using the discount code FOODHEALS. And next up, we have a special announcement. It's the holidays, and for most people, it's not exactly the healthiest time of year. (laughs) That's true. Being surrounded by extra snacks, appetizers, holiday cocktails, parties, it's not easy to stick to a healthy diet. It's a lot of temptation. It's a lot of temptation, especially when you're like trying so hard. You're like, okay, this holiday, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to be healthier. And it's like, usually you fail. I usually do. (laughs) Yeah, me too. So that's why we created a cleanse and it's customized just for you, Food Heals Nation. It's a five-day detox that you can do in the comfort of your own heal. (laughs) (laughs) It's a five-day detox that you can do in the comfort of your own home, not heal, to feel better, lose weight, and renew your energy after the holidays. I'm doing it. Shit, me too. (laughs) (laughs) So it's called the Vitality Cleanse, and it will teach you exactly how to do the cleanse. It includes a cleanse guide written by us, as well as a shopping list and schedule, so you will have everything you need to do a five-day cleanse. Yes, so you can download it from foodhealscleanse.com, and it's valued at $26, but from now until January 5th, it will be 50% off. 50% off? That's an amazing deal. Yeah, I didn't tell you. No. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. 50% off Food Heals Nation. So for only $13 using the coupon code Food Heals, you will receive the cleanse ebook with everything you need to know about how to do a cleanse, what supplements to take, how to do a pre and post cleanse, and so much more. And we know you're going to love it. We know you're going to love it. So go to www.foodhealscleanse.com and use the coupon code FOODHEALS to get 50% off your Vitality Cleanse and ring in the new year right. 
The Food Heals Podcast starts now. All right, Food Heals Nation, let's start out our holiday gift guide with our 2015 book list. So these are some of our favorite books that have come out in the past year, or maybe we just didn't hear about them until this year, but these make great gifts for anyone in your life who is interested in holistic health, or they're just a gift to yourself. <laughs> they're fantastic. The first book on the list is Sophie Uliano's Gorgeous for Good. I love that one. So we're going to have Sophie on in 2016, and I've been reading her books for 10 years. Susie, I don't know if I've told you, but I remember reading one of her first books and it was called Gorgeously Green in 2007. And it was when my dad was sick and it was all about the toxic products in your home and what replacements you could make to make your home healthier, right? And so I'm running around the house like a crazy person. I'm dumping out all the old cleaning supplies. I'm unplugging these air fresheners and here I am making my own cleaning products with like olive oil and lemon juice and everyone thought I was crazy. Yeah, they always do. <laughs> I know. They always do. But look, shit was toxic. Okay, I had to get it out. Like my dad was sick. I didn't want him to have anything in the household to make him sicker. This is like right when I'm discovering the food, right when I'm discovering nutrition. And this book really was a life-changing book for me because it made me realize like I cannot plug in an air freshener and expect, okay, it smells good, but actually I can't stand those smells now. I think they smell, smell terrible, but it's because I've reduced all the toxins in my life. So that shit is so toxic to me. Just like, you know, these perfumes and colognes, they're so unhealthy. They're so toxic. So no, it's true. You know, my good friend, and I'm also a patient of his, Dr. George Stagopoulos, he practices, he's a chiropractor. He also practices applied kinesiology here in Los Angeles. He's going to be on the show in 2016. Um, he said he would be. And he is such a wealth of We're information. calling you out! <laughs> Dr. George! No, he is a wealth of information. And the first time I heard about how toxic things are when the, that smell good, right? Fabric mm -hmm. softener sheets, air fresheners, perfumes. Mm -hmm. He he does this practice where he does muscle testing on your body. Yes. Completely works. We'll talk about that when he's in our studio. But yes. Look up muscle testing Food Heals Nation because it will change your life. Food heal, muscle testing and applied kinesiology. It, yes. it completely, your body tells you exactly what is beneficial and what is not. And it was through his work. He's healed me. I've seen him so, for so many things. I've sent so many of my clients to him for things that I couldn't help. And it's miraculous. And he was testing, he's muscle testing me. And he's like, you know, using really smelly soaps, shampoos, perfumes, you know, he went on down the list. And I was like, well, yeah, what's the problem? They smell good. They smell like vanilla. They smell like birthday cake. They smell like roses, you know, like just yeah. all those things. And he was like, no, they are shutting down systems in your body. And mm. this kind of like clicked on off, off a light in my head is like, what? You know, we think that they're all fine. And, you know, my continued education on this topic is just that our bodies can only take so many toxic substances. Right. And our FDA, our government, they test things for the way that they affect your body or that the, the amounts that are okay to your body, whether it be breathing them, putting them on, ingesting them. But what they don't take into account is if people are using toxic substances in many different forms Absolutely. it overloads your system yeah and i personally th i personally think that everybody has a certain amount of like crap that they can take yes. in their body right <laughs> and everybody's amount it's like a tank and everybody's tank is different mine may be bigger than yours yours may be bigger than you know right. your husband's whatever and it and you never know because our genetics and our lifestyle and our past experiences are all different yeah but there's a point at which your body can't take anymore. It cannot, your liver cannot detoxify. Your kidney cannot flush it out. If it's not organic, if your body can't break it down, if it's not an organic substance, your body sticks it in your liver. It's like, I don't know what to do with that. Yeah. I can't recognize it. I'm just going to stick it away or put it in your fat cells. That's what your body does. And then you're full of toxins yes. from your air fresheners, from your foods, from the, the lotions. air, your lotions, from the, the, the stuff you're breathing, from the thoughts you're thinking. It, yes. it accumulates and if your tank gets full, that's when you get sick. That is my own personal belief. I'm going to write a book about it. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And until Susie's book is out, you can also read Sophie Uliano's book. Yes, my Her point is, <laughs> <laughs> my point is, Sophie is completely correct. She's on the right track. Yeah, and her new book is called Gorgeous for Good, and it's just one of her latest, and I love it because it's like it meets in the middle, so it doesn't make you go to the extreme. And maybe Susie can read the ex the description with her super voiceover voice, which we I'd love. I'd be happy to. I'd okay. be happy to. Let's see. 
Gorgeous for Good, a simple 30-day program for lasting beauty inside and out. It's fair to say that the beauty business is booming, as is the anti-aging industry. Each year, Americans spend more than $30 billion on cosmetics, and globally, we spend about $260 billion on services and products to enhance our youth. Accompanying the decisions we make around our beauty comes the ever-important question of whether to go fake or natural. Do we resort to the latest commercial chemical or surgical quick fix, or go completely organic but possibly get less stunning results? Clean beauty guru and New York Times bestselling author of Gorgeously Green, Sophie Uliano offers a solution to this latest beauty dilemma and says you don't have to choose, and when you look at her, you can tell she has more than a few good secrets. So exactly like Susie was just saying, it's all about what can you have in your life? What do you need to get out of your life? Like where can you meet in the middle? Because some products are fine, some are not so bad, and some are absolutely terrible. And Sophie's going to help you with that. And this book is great. I'm gifting it to, actually, I guess I shouldn't say because they listen and (laughs) it's not Christmas yet. So I'm not going to tell you who I bought the book for, but I bought it for some special people in my life. It's a Santa secret. Santa cannot tell. (laughs) But we definitely recommend that book. And the next book on our list is Will Travel for Vegan Food by Kristen Lajeunesse. And I'd say personally, I think this book is great for anyone in your life who is already vegetarian or vegan that can really relate to Kristen's story and will find it like fun and entertaining like we did. Totally. I'm going to read the description. Despite a shiny new graduate degree, a dream job, and a great relationship, Something felt terribly off in Kristen's life. With the weight of uncertainty riding high, she stumbled upon some reading materials that would inspire a complete upheaval of her current life path. To the shock of her family and friends, Kristen quit her job, ditched almost all of her belongings, crowdsourced funds, moved into an old van named Gertie. (laughs) Gertie. I love that. And set out on the road in an effort to eat at and write about every single vegan restaurant in the United States. Join Kristen for the ultimate foodie-inspired road trip that spanned two years, 48 states, 547 restaurants, and more than 39,000 miles in Gertie, and find out how it led to her unparalleled freedom, love, and amazing self-discovery. So I would say that this book is really perfect for someone in your life who is already a vegan or vegetarian. This is not a book that's trying to convince anyone. It's just a funny, interesting story. It's like tales from the road. It's really good. It's really light. It's really, you it's like know. a vegan funny Jack Kerouac <laughs> Yeah. <novel. laughs> I would say that. That's a good point. So it's a really good read. And if you want to learn more about the book before you buy it, you can always go back to our interview with Kristen on episode 17. So on iTunes or Stitcher or however you listen to podcasts, you can scroll back to 17 or you can go to foodhealsnation.com slash 17 and you can listen there. Yep, and if you want to buy the book, go to veganpublishers.com and use the discount code EATCLEAN, E-A-T-C-L-N, to get 50% off the book. Yeah, it's a great deal. And don't worry, Food Heals Nation, we're not trying to make any money off the sale or anything like that. Kristen just wanted to provide a discount code to you, Food Heals Nation. And the book is also in our holiday giveaway gift bags. So if you haven't entered, you can enter by leaving us a review on iTunes or Stitcher and taking a screenshot and sending it to us at info at foodhealsnation.com or tweeting it to us at Food Heals Nation or posting it to our Facebook wall. So it's pretty easy to enter and definitely check out her book. If you don't win the contest, you should buy it anyways. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> and we met her and she's so fantastic and down to earth and we just love her. Yeah, we went to her book launch party at Mooshoes in Silver Lake and that was a really fun experience. And yeah, they, it was. They had a really good food truck there. I like, think that was the first time I had jackfruit tacos, which yes. we talked about so much in the beginning of our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it was yes. fantastic. I want to find out what that food truck is called because I want to have them at a party. But anyways, that's a side note. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll announce it on the podcast. So Allison, what's the next book? The next book is from one of our other guests. You might remember Dr. Garth Davis, and his book is called Protein Aholic. And this is a book where a doctor 
breaks down the science behind the protein myth and how a plant-based diet is truly the most healthy way to eat and can even prevent and reverse disease. So for Susie and I, it's really, really wonderful when a doctor backs up what we're saying because there are so many times when we hear like, oh, well, where's the science behind that? Or where's the medicine behind that? Or whatever. And this is a doctor telling you like you don't need all that protein at every meal. And my favorite part of the book is when he said that there was not one case in medical journals of anyone ever dying of a protein deficiency, Food Heals Nation. So the whole eating meat thing and every meal argument is just completely debunked. I know. I mean, his interview rocked my world, really made me completely think differently about how I can increase all the vegetables and fruits in my life. Yeah, absolutely. So do you want to read the description? I'd be happy to. Protein is not the answer. In fact, it's the problem. In Proteinaholic, Dr. Garth Davis sets the record straight, dispelling the myths that have been perpetuated by doctors, weight loss experts, and the media. Protein is not the key to weight loss. It is actually one of the biggest factors behind the obesity epidemic. Here are some facts from the book that he points out. Animal protein is not the healthiest food we can eat. It is strongly associated with diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, and cancer. Carbs are not the enemy. They are a source of energy and are staples in the diets of the longest living peoples in the world. And Dr. Davis's conclusions, I just want to point out, are supported by all these scientific studies. I said that before, but I just want to say it again. And over many years in multiple countries, meat, not carbs, and not even sugar provoke a state of inflammation, which is an immune system response that when it becomes chronic is the underlying factor in virtually every one of our chronic disorders, including heart disease and diabetes. So If you have anyone suffering or if you are suffering from any of these conditions, please, please, please get this book. Even if you're a certified proteinaholic, Dr. Davis will make recovery a clear, simple process that will change your life forever. His book is available at proteinaholic.com. All right, next up are two books from our friend and nutritionist Anne Baroque, who actually healed herself for multiple sclerosis, which I've told Food Heals Nation if you've listened to past episodes is so close to my heart because my mother had MS like my whole life. I grew up with her having MS and it got worse and worse in my later high school years and my later college years until she eventually was diagnosed with cancer because she was on so many drugs for MS. And here is beautiful, shining Anne Baroque sitting in front of us while we were interviewing her for the Food Heals podcast, telling us how she healed herself. So, and she, it was no easy road for her as well. No. I mean, she was, you know, told, get ready for the wheelchair. And, yes. And I would she, never say it was easy. And if I if I said that, I didn't mean to, but yeah. No, 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 you didn't. But okay. I'm, no, not at all. But I want to say that, you know, her personal story, because I've known Anne for over 10 years and have seen her as a patient, you know, she went through the, her own personal battles as well. It's no easy, it's not, it's not easy to deal with MS in any way, shape, or form. Or any autoimmune or anything where, you know, she says the underlying cause is candida, right? And so that's an overgrowth of yeast. And so we can get into all of that. And we have in other podcasts, and we will in future episodes. But really, we want to tell you about her books. And the first one is called The Candida Cure, Yeast, Fungus, and Your Health. And it's a 90 90- day program to beat candida and restore vibrant health. And it was written by Anne and all her books are based on her personal experience and seeing clients for, I don't know how many years, I can't remember how many years she's been in business, but girl knows her shit. Okay. Yeah. Woman knows what she's talking about. We trust her. You should trust her. It's all about diet and lifestyle changes and alternative medicine, just like we preach on this podcast. But we truly, truly recommend her books. What's her other book you've got over there, Susie? Her other book is called Healing Multiple Sclerosis. And I know that she has been on – she was on the Montel Williams show with this book. As we all know, Montel also has MS and was or was diagnosed with MS. And so this is her diet, detox, and nutritional makeover for total recovery if you've been given a diagnosis of MS. Yeah, so we definitely recommend her books, whether it's a gift or, like I said earlier, a gift to yourself. You really can heal autoimmune diseases. And I feel like why this is so important to me is that I feel like when I was looking for the answers, no one was talking about this. And even today, there are many Western medical doctors who do not believe in this and will not recommend 
natural healing when the truth is... And we is, can't blame them, right? Oh, because, no, I'm not blaming because them. Because they're, they're, they're not schooled in nutrition. They're, no, they're not. And their job is to give you a pill or a protocol to heal you and meaning heal all populations with whatever diagnosis within a certain statistical amount. Right. If they can't do that, they cannot say, I can heal you. They cannot say, this is going to help you because... They don't feel, you know, they're not, they're not educated in that, period. Absolutely. And this, and we always, and I say this often on this podcast, is that healing is different from curing. Curing, a doctor comes in, gives you a pill or a protocol or whatever, a treatment to a, a large portion of a population given a certain diagnosis, that is curing. Healing is your own body tapping into its own knowledge and you giving it the tools it needs, the nutrition it needs, the thoughts it needs to heal itself of whatever's going on. To heal your imbalances. Could not agree more. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so Food Heals Nation, check out her books. They're on Amazon. You can go to her website, amberoak.com. Here's a review from Montel himself. A woman who's done something really incredible. I want people to go out and get a copy of this book. This was for the book Healing Multiple Sclerosis. Perfect. You know, I grew up watching Montel with my I mom. Did too. Yeah, like she was obsessed with him because... Literally, we didn't know anyone in our neighborhood, in our community that had multiple sclerosis. So the only person that she had to relate to was a guy on TV, yeah. which was Montel, which yeah. is crazy, yeah. right? And I have so much appreciation for Montel for being like a person for my mom to look to and being a show for her to watch. But at the same time, like there wasn't Anne Baroque's knowledge in the small town in North Carolina where we were in when she was sick. And so we didn't have these resources. We didn't have these books. We didn't have, Google wasn't a thing yet. You know, it wasn't like you just type in anything you want to know. And so if you are suffering or you know anyone suffering from multiple sclerosis or autoimmune, Google it, <laughs> look up natural cures, but especially get Anne's books. Listen to our podcast with Anne and she will change your life. That's, That's it. right. That's all we're going to say. That's it. All right, the next book I want to talk about is a book that I got for my birthday. Ah, I know. It's the Crossroads Cookbook. And so I'm going to bring it over to show to Susie in a second. But oh my gosh, Food Heals Nation. I live in LA. We live in LA. And basically on Melrose, about a couple blocks from here, like not far at all, you can get there and park your car in less than 10 minutes, is the most amazing high-end vegan restaurant called Crossroads. And the reason that it's so important to me that it's high-end is because a few years ago when I would go to a primarily vegan restaurant, it would be so hippy-dippy with incense burning, and I'm not trying to be judgmental, but I was What do you got against incense? Uh, what has incense ever done to you? I got nothing against uh, incense, but you I'm could kidding. not bring a non-vegan or non-vegetarian there because they were just like, oh God, mm -hmm. where am I in mm -hmm. this hippy-dippy place? Like, there's so many judgments that they would have, and it would make me start judging the place. Like, the food is good, but the ambiance would be so you know, in that vein that it was like really hard to be taken seriously. So how is Crossroads different? Because Cro I haven't, I haven't ventured into Crossroads yet. Crossroads is a high end Hollywood restaurant on par with, you know, any SBE restaurant, which if you know SBE, it does only high end cuisine, high end restaurants, high end bars, high end clubs. So basically it's expensive. It's beautiful. It's nice. It's the presentation of food you know, the way that you were treated. It's not this hippy dippy restaurant. And I don't have anything against those. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but if you want to bring your husband there or a date there or a friend there who is not in the natural holistic world, you will love it because the food is to die for. It is so good. Well, I think what you're getting across to our listeners is that like, you know, vegan vegetarian food is changing drastically in terms of its presentation it's not just for that small niche of people but that it's broader and wider and and it's true yeah it's all expanding right yes well i want to go out to dinner and wear high heels and look good and have fun and look hot and i can't go to those hippie dippy you restaurants don't want to wear a moo -moo like that. and birkenstocks i get it <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. And look, I'll go to the other ones too. Like if I'm at the beach or like, you know, I'll go to them for lunch, but like I want high end dining experience. Okay. I've lived in Los Angeles for a long time. I'm a foodie. I'm a snob just deal with it. So <laughs> love you. <laughs> when I find something like Crossroads, I'm obsessed because it shows people that they can eat well, eat healthy at a high-end place and enjoy the dining experience. And the food is to die for. So I got his cookbook for my birthday. My husband gave it to me and it was so funny because here's what happened. So he's like, so when you have your birthday very close to Christmas, as I do, both in December, your whole life. <laughs> hi, Obi. Our hi, doggies Obi. are playing. Where's Jackson? He's right here. Oh, hi. oh, Jackson and Obi are saying hi. <laughs> so anyways, when you have your birthday in December, what happens is people want to give you a birthday and a Christmas present combined. And to all the other Sagittarians out there and December babies out there, we know that this is unacceptable, so do not do that. But second <laughs> I of <agree>. all, <laughs> what I want to tell Food Heals Nation is that, so what happens is people start asking you for your Christmas list, maybe your Hanukkah list, whatever holiday you celebrate. But for us, Dan, my husband, sent me an email and saying, I need a Christmas list for my mom ASAP right? And this is the day before my birthday. So I made him a list and included on it was the Crossroads cookbook. The next day was my birthday and he gave me the Crossroads cookbook. So I was like, oh, like, thanks. You read my list. He's like, what? What list? And I'm like, the list I sent for your mom. He's like, oh, I haven't even read that yet. I didn't have time. I'm like, yeah, right. This was on my list. I opened the presents and then I also got a pair of wireless headphones for my birthday. And I'm like, that was on my list too. You obviously copied everything like I sent to your mom, whatever. He's like, no, I didn't. I swear to God, I haven't even read that. Anyways, the point is, is that I got the Crossroads cookbook. I got my wireless headphones. He swears he listens. And so that's how Aww. he knew I wanted those. Because he said, a good hubby. He said we were at the restaurant and I mentioned like, hey, I heard that they have a new cookbook. And he was like, note to self, buy her this for her birthday. But anyway, so I had asked for it for Christmas from his mom or from his family, and he got it for my birthday. So I love that, Allison. So you know what? I'm going to promise Food Heals Nation, I'm going to take my husband, who's a carnivore, to Crossroads. And I'm not going to tell him. It's a vegan <laughs> restaurant. And we'll be back with our review. I just want to let you know that they have the best Italian food. So order from the, there's three really good Italian dishes and they're all good. And they're all shared plates. So love it. Yeah. We love Italian food. Yes, you will love it. So Food Heals Nation, if you want to order the Crossroads cookbook, it's on Amazon. It's on their website. Definitely check it out. It's not easy to make recipes. It is high-end recipes. I'm just going to say that. That's okay. <laughs> it's not for a beginning cook. That's all I'm going to say. It's good to know. All right, we'll be right back with our takeaways from 2015 from doing this podcast. Food Heals Nation, if you are looking for the highest quality supplements, the most luscious organic skincare, and a brand name that you can trust to be free from toxic chemicals, look no further than the Global Healing Center. I have been using their products for years. Their Parfait Visage face lotion literally makes my skin look younger. And it comes in a beautiful bottle, so it is perfect as a gift as well. And the Oxy Powder Colon Cleanse Capsules are the most powerful detox supplements I have ever ever use. They get everything out and they don't leave you feeling full or uncomfortable. The mission of the Global Healing Center is to bring back good health, positive thinking, happiness, and love. And they want to help you realize that your body is a self-healing mechanism. Well, I couldn't agree more. So I've teamed up with Dr. Group and the Global Healing Center to bring you a discount exclusive to Food Heals listeners. Go to their website at globalhealingcenter.com, pick out the items you want, and use the discount code FOODHEALS, all one word, for 20% off your purchase, plus free shipping to the U.S. and Canada. 20% off is a great deal, Food Heals Nation. I love their products, and I know you will too. Are you ready to start the new year off right? Have you been thinking about doing a cleanse but are overwhelmed with all the options? Let us break it down for you in our latest guide, The Vitality Cleanse. 
If you've been feeling sluggish, depleted, or dissatisfied with your overall health, in most cases, your diet is the culprit. Unbeknownst to most Americans, the food they ingest are rife with harmful additives. The Vitality Cleanse is here to reverse that. Through this nutritional overhaul, you can look better and enjoy stronger immunity, improved mood, and an infinite number of other benefits that go way beyond aesthetics. The Vitality Cleanse is the spark that will ignite your transformation. Cleansing is the process of purging your bodies of accumulated toxins while replenishing your body with essential nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. While the word cleanse may be intimidating to some, it actually describes the gateway to a profoundly healthier way of life that will revitalize you. By ridding your body of toxins and flushing it with nutrients, you will help your body return to homeostasis, which means perfect health. That's right. If you want to do a cleanse but aren't sure how, this download includes detailed information that will guide you through the process. You will receive an ebook that explains the specific benefits of doing a cleanse, breaking down exactly how it works. There's also a detailed plan of what to do, including a daily schedule and a shopping list that will eliminate any guesswork. Put your health back in your hands and feel the best you can. Yes, yeah, so you can download it from foodhealscleanse.com and it's valued at $26. But from now until January 5th, it will be 50% off using the coupon code FOODHEALS. That's foodhealscleanse.com. You are listening to the Food Heals Podcast. Make sure to subscribe, rate, and review us on iTunes. All right, Food Heals Nation, we're back. And the women of She Podcast asked us to send over an audio recording of some of our takeaways from doing this podcast in 2015. And we thought that this information would be valuable to Food Heals Nation. So we're going to play it now on our show. Hi, Elsie, Jessica, and She Podcast listeners. I'm Allison Melody. And I'm Susie Hardy, and our show is the Food Heals Podcast. You can check out the show at foodhealsnation.com. Tweet us at Food Heals Nation. Or go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash foodhealsnation. So the first question is, what microphone do you use? So Susie and I have been through multiple microphones, but we finally settled on the ones we have here based on Susie's recommendation. So Susie, tell us about these mics. So these are Sterling Audio Microphones, ST51s, and they're FET condenser microphones. And we love them. They're great. You know, I am an actress, voiceover artist, and I've used various microphones, and these have served us very well. They give us high professional quality sounds. Yeah, these mics have served us very well. And they look really good, too. They do. They do. That was... (laughs) Our studio looks good. I'm having flashbacks. I remember Allison had some mics that were gorgeous, vintage looking. They were called Elvis mics and they were red. They looked like Elvis (laughs) mics. And you know what? The sound was shit. The sound was shitty and they were more expensive than these microphones. So I think these three that we have in the studio were the cost of one. Yes, exactly. So these mics are fantastic. We love them. The Sterling Audio Microphones ST51s. All right. The next question is, what is the biggest podcasting production tip that you adore, whether it's hardware, software, workflow, service, resource, etc.? I have plenty. We record What's our- What's the sh- biggest? I know, the biggest. Okay. <laughs> production, podcasting production tip. Well, see, I have a different background. So I've been a voiceover artist since I was a teenager and I'm in my late 30s. So, you know, I was self-taught on how to record- voice in my own in my home studio and then creating our studio here so I already had a background in it but my biggest production tip would be it's listening it's I think you really have to develop an ear and you can use different microphones you can use different softwares there's a lot of different options there's a choice for everybody but it's really developing an ear for sound production and going that's a flub, that's a sound click that's a mouth pop and it's and it's very specific and it's and it takes time you know, to, to develop that ear, but it's really important. That's my biggest production tip. That's a great tip. And I think that for me, having a film production background really made me want to start this podcast with high production value, thus making our intro really interesting and engaging, hiring professional voiceover artists to make that work, putting great music to it. Really getting your listeners engaged from the beginning is really important because if your content is fabulous, 
No one's going to listen if you don't have that high quality intro. It's kind of like having a great book jacket or having a great trailer yes. for a film or, you know, it's, it, that's the way humans run. It's, it's unfortunate, but true. It's like, that's how we are. Humans like the flash. There, there's certain things that catch our attention in terms of psychology and you just got to do it. Yeah, I totally agree. And people, that's the biggest compliment we get is on our intro. Because in, the, our intro is amazing. And I give that credit <laughs> to Allison. She wrote it. It's hilarious. Thank you. So She Podcast listeners and Food Heals Nation listeners, if you want us to play it for you at the end, we will. And what was your biggest podcasting challenge this year? And did you overcome it? And I definitely have an answer for this. And I wonder what Susie's answer would be. But I would say... Our biggest challenge was starting a podcast three or four months ago and going, how the hell are we going to get sponsors and monetize this bitch? Because <laughs> <laughs> we love what we do so much. Yeah, we do. But mama's got to get that paid. Through. We do. <laughs> oh my gosh. We love what we do so much. We love talking about nutrition. We love helping people get healthy. We love inspiring you with our stories and the stories of our guests who have really made huge changes in their lives, but mama's got to eat, okay? <laughs> so getting sponsors was interesting because we didn't really know how to go about it. And so instead of following, you know, a guide or anything, we kind of made it up. So what we did is we went to products and services, brands that we believed in, and we said, hey, we're going to give you a free, free sponsorship episode. We're going to talk about your product or your service. We're going to talk about how much we love it. And it's all products and services that we believe in. And we're going to tell our Food Heals Nation how much we love it. And we're going to give them a discount code. So all you have to do to work with us is to give 10% off, 15% off, 20% off using the coupon code Food Heals. What would happen was is our listeners would use that coupon code and then the sponsors would realize like, oh, this is effective. This is working. And then later, we would ask them for the moolah, the money. <laughs> <laughs> the ducats, the clams, what have you. Yes, exactly. And so not everyone was on board. Some people were, some people weren't. It's all good. It was an experiment, but it was definitely a challenge. And now we're flourishing. We're doing great. Was sp sponsors come to us. Yeah. Where at the beginning, we were like... Well, I think we hit a tipping point, right? Yeah. And, that, and that's... It's such, you know, podcasting is still the Wild West, it seems to yes. me. It's still very wide open. It's still, you know, some people have taken it and skyrocketed and some people kind of hum along and it's just, it's very kind of open to interpretation. It's very kind of fluid and, and it's what works and, and that's what I get. I think that, you know, people at Cheat, the, I think that's what the ladies at Cheat Podcast are talking about. It's like, you know, trying to figure out what works. Yeah. And so we, our strategy did work. It didn't work for every single company and every single organization. Damn it. <laughs> no, <laughs> But it okay. worked for a few and it was a huge learning experience and being able to make the ask and go, hey, we have this great show. We want to work with you because we love your product, you know, and it was really a learning experience. But I think that it was more successful than unsuccessful. So I feel like we overcame the challenge of finding sponsors. I would say that. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Okay. I'm going to read the next question. Perfect. What do you wish someone would have told you about podcasting before you hit go? <laughs> it's harder <laughs> than it seems. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. I don't need to, yeah. That, that's, that sums it up pretty well. It's so much fun. But it is just as hard work as your nine to five as, you know, interacting with your family. I can't say raising a kid because I'm not there yet. But I'm just saying like anything else that you do in your life that is, you know, a commitment. Well, you know, I got into podcasting about a year ago through Serial, mm -hmm. as many people have. Serial was amazing and engaging and it, it brought you back week after week. And now it's back in season two. Allison, Ugh. I don't know. Did you follow Serial? Yes, of course. I'm obsessed with the new season already. I have, you know what? I haven't tapped into it because I'm afraid. Because then I'm gonna like shirk. Be, be afraid. Yeah. Be very afraid. <laughs> Let so the I'm, frustration begin. Because I'm gonna shirk other things over it. It um, is so good. But got into podcasts that way, and then I started following other podcasts on my drives, and thought this is amazing. I can learn and be engaged and laugh, and there's so much available. And that's that's how I was sucked in. But you know what? It gave me such a respect for all of those podcasts because. You think it's just one or two people or three people or whatever just kind of talking? No. There's a <laughs> lot more that goes into it. And give me a lot more respect for what those people do and how they create what they create and how they engage through voice. 
so true. It's like it is a second full-time job. And I don't want to scare anyone off from podcasting. If you want a podcast, it will change your business. If you're passionate about something, it will change your life. But make no mistake, it is a second job. And if you love it, you won't care. Because Susie and I love it so much that we make time to do it whenever we have to because we want our Food Heals Nation to be engaged and to keep learning. And we love it so much. But know that it is a lot of work. And that's okay because it's good work. But it's completely doable. You know? it's, it and is. It's, we're doing it. Yeah. We're not, we're not superstars over here. Well, we're kind of superstars. <laughs> I think we are. I think we work pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. Oh, I know you do too. Don't sell yourself short. No, we both do. Yes. But um, there's a lot more that goes into it, but it's well worth it. And just like anything in this day and age, you know, we're, we're, we're in our 30s and just we're not, you know, the millennials that they just, they, they're they born knowing how to tweet. Like it, yeah. it, it takes a lot of self-education and it's there and it's there for free. You know, you can learn a lot on the internet. You can, you can teach yourself. You can find the right mics and software and stuff that works for you wherever you're at. Whether you can just sink a lot of money into it and hire people or you have to be self-taught. But content is king. And whatever business you're in, it's going to help you regardless because it's just putting your voice out there. Absolutely. Right? And I will say that Susie and I are building a membership site. It is not ready yet, but it will be around in 2016 for anyone who wants to podcast. And we're going to teach you all the strategies and everything we did to get 100,000 downloads in the first three months, be monetized in the first month, get sponsors immediately, and so much more. So we will tell you more about that on future episodes. If you have a business, if you have a passion, podcasting can be the next big thing. And I was at a podcasting conference and they said, if you're a blogger, if you're a content creator, if you own a small business, whether it's a brick and mortar store you know, a car dealership or whether it's an online business, if you're not doing a podcast, you're missing out on like 80% of new business because podcasting is the new YouTube. It's not as oversaturated yet. And so your podcast will stand out among other podcasts versus your YouTube video versus your Facebook page, et cetera. I think our next, next podcast should be about car dealerships. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to imagine that. I'm like, what will we talk about? Coming up next. Transmissions. <laughs> New formats. I would be silent because I'm like, I'll know anything about cars, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You'd figure it out. I would. You're a can-do woman. I would figure it out. Allison is a Sagittarius. She's a can-do woman. <laughs> I try so hard. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, She Podcast listeners. Thank you, Food Heals Nation. For all the show notes, go to foodhealsnation.com. Thanks for listening and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you. That's our show. Thanks for listening. Sign up for our mailing list at foodhealsnation.com and receive a free gift from us. That's right. We have created a brand new guide for you, our Food Heals Nation. Yep. The guide is called Health, Longevity, and Weight Loss Secrets, and it's full of tips, tricks, and secrets collected from some of our favorite guests from the Food Heals podcast. In it, you will learn crazy cool stuff like how to live to 99 with no wrinkles. Susie's grandfather. That's right. How to attract the one. Ooh, how to never get a cavity again. My favorite. Yes, my favorite too. And the real secret to weight loss. Or maybe that's my favorite. They're all my favorites. And, and so, so much, much more. <laughs> so sign up for our newsletter at foodhealsnation.com. We won't spam you, we promise. No, we won't send you too many emails. Trust us, we're too busy for that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so go to foodhealsnation.com to get your free guide, health, longevity, and weight loss secrets from the Food Heals podcast by subscribing today. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Side effects of this podcast may include increased health and vitality, thoughts of living longer, developing a more positive outlook on life. In rare cases, women have experienced a strong desire to stop asking their boyfriends if they look fat in this dress. If you experience any of these symptoms, post a selfie to